everybody. Welcome to the latest episode of the Ben and Emil Show. I'm Ben. That's Emil. We are formerly known as the Pay Pigs Pod, but then we decided that that wasn't. We explained work. it all in our last episode. It's it's you'll get it. But yeah. Also, quick note to our Patreon uh, Patreon subscribers: go over to the Ben and Emil Show. We're switching our platform. Uh, or if you're want to be a new member on that, everyone's getting an. an Getting a month free. Yeah, and if you're confused about it, read a book, man. I can't, <laughs> if you're I don't confused about it, everything yeah, else is staying the same. Yeah, We're still posting to YouTube. We're still posting to Spotify. And uh, we have our wonderful guest here today. Yeah, we've got Brandon, a.k.a. Atrioc, with us. And we originally recorded the bonus. We originally recorded the episode, but then decided that the bonus episode was uh, better. So we went off we, on the bonus we episode. We switched it we around. Crazy. So, all right, let's kick this thing off, man. Hit the intro. <laughs> That we don't have. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see John Stewart? His thing? Yeah. I haven't. I heard he's back. It got a million views in an it was good. hour or whatever. I, I, do, I do love that uh, John Stewart is now too radical for Democrats. Uh, they're all pissed at him because. <laughs> oh, because how because dare he you? D- dares to say that Joe Biden is old as shit. Yeah. <clears throat> Even though he does go on to be like, Trump is awful, but. Which I think, man, it's it's like it's not radical at all. I feel oh, like everybody I mean, in their heart of the hearts people, knows the people running cover for this are yeah. insane. The ones it's who are crazy. like, you know, he, I mean, John Stewart made a very funny point. He he plays a he plays a clip of uh, it's a bunch of people from the Biden administration going, you know, I'm with him every day. He's uh, there are all these moments where he's very sharp, he's very smart, he's very with it, he's focused, blah blah. blah. And John they Stewart all goes, say the same thing. Yeah, he's sharp, but he's jo- sharp. John Stewart goes. Oh, you should film those moments and show us <laughs> because all we see yeah, we don't is, get to see is those him moments. referencing fucking uh, dead, dead French president. Yeah, fucking chocolate chip cookies. Truly, just go like just being like, I'm just gonna mumble now because I've lost the word. I mean, yeah. and so everyone telling you this, you're like, but I see it. It's the fucking China thing where you're like, I'm yeah. seeing it, and yeah. you're telling me it's not happening. It's the fucking. I, I think you're dead on, man. And two I, plus two I, I took five. it recently. I was because I, I sometimes I feel like. I can get swayed by what I see on Twitter and narratives. I'm like, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch the full, I watched the full Valley Forge Biden speech and I watched it beginning to end. I was like, I'm just going to finally watch, because I always watch clips. I never watched the whole thing. My number one takeaway is just how old he is. Like you just feel it on his face Dude. and his eyes and his, he is incredibly old. And so, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I voted for him. I'm, I'm probably going to vote for him. I'm not going to vote for Trump. So in, in, you know, in my mind, it's like I have no reason not to give him the benefit of the doubt. And he, the guy is just clearly beyond where it's I think a elder, president should be. It's elder abuse, man. Like the, the, so, the yeah, his family yeah. should step in and be like, we're going to take him to I the home. I would love if he didn't run. I would love if he, uh, yeah. you know, like said. Times are running out, too. I know. Like, they it, gotta it would be, be such a heroic move, a noble move yeah. to say that you're down hell hard in the polls versus a guy, you know, was a bad president. Well, that's a, the other thing, too. It's like, like just look at the facts and... and, and He's got like a 38% approval rating. So many people are pissed at him. So many people have a problem with the age. And instead of just being like, no, he's, I was with him behind closed doors. You guys should have seen him. He was tap dancing. He was solving Sudoku puzzles like this, dude. He was. But so, so it's like, well then just fucking have him step down. No one wants this. Stop trying to convince us that. I think it would be a heroic thing. People would respect, it would help his legacy. If he nobly stepped down as like, Hey, you know, uh, I feel like this person, let's name somebody else. This person would be a great person to run for president. I'm, I'm going to spend time with family. I'm getting near the end of my life. I hope he, <laughs> I hope he wins and we get, uh, we get Kamala when he dies because, um, I, I'm obsessed with her now. She's, uh, <laughs> did you see the coconut? coconut? Yeah, I'm been, like, the memes are crazy. The, the amount of, I couldn't stop watching this? it. Yeah. Okay. It's, yes, you fall out of a coconut tree. <laughs> <laughs> Just like truly, uh, uh, like wine and Xanax mom as president. I think that's, <laughs> dude. It's like a veep style. Yeah. Dude, it's what, what we be? deserve. And it's, <laughs> I, she's she's incredible. Dang, I was just gonna say something. About, and just oh. fucking, we should have someone that everyone dislikes even more. I mean, she ran for president in 2020, and she had to drop out before even the first primary. She right. couldn't. Uh, <laughs> people were like, "No, we're actually all set on your insane vibe." <laughs> the thing yeah. that gets me about Joe Biden's age, but more so just the the act of being president is. How much travel is involved? Oh my god! Think about how exhausting it is. Global to, international travel all the time, where you have to do serious yeah. discussions. It would all wreck the time. his old little. F- it is wrecking his old. It, it would. Re- body I, I traveled a lot for Twitch at twenty four, and I wanted to 
kill myself. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, it's, it's exhausting. Right. It's, I can't imagine, you know, so yeah, I, I just don't. And by the way, Trump's old too. Trump is, is old, oh, yeah. older than Biden was when he won last time. So they're both so <sighs> fucking old. It's. Sorry, I'm like, can I curse on you? Do you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't remember if you guys curse as much as you want. Demonetized. Fucking goddamn time. <laughs> we, speak, we speak French on this. I just, you know, it's actually not depressing me, but it just makes me a little angry lately. I, 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 I feel like every day I see a new clip from either one of them that is just gibberish. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, it's like we have 300 million people in this country. These are our two. These are our options. Yeah, I definitely find yeah. it depressing. I mean, it's, it's. I think in 2020, people. People had this understanding of like, I'm very unhappy with these two candidates, but we don't want Trump in office. So like, we're right. Do we'll make what it we're happen. supposed to do. And I think people are now they're over. I it. mean, yeah. to just run it again, with <laughs> it, you know, where people <laughs> are like four more years you. to come up with. I'm very curious. I think there's going to be like an extremely low turnout. I think it's hard to, that just, is the vibe I feel. I yeah. even like my most liberal friends. Like it just, they don't, there's no enthusiasm. It's completely yeah, because what are you enthusiastic for? I, and so it worries me, man. I, I, these are just such bad candidates. Everyone's in a bad mood. No one, can, no one, you know, our age or younger, I guess, can really afford a house. Like, I, I, these are like real problems, and and these are not the candidates for the right. solution. So I don't know. It's it's, and they're trying to make them seem fun with TikToks. I don't know if you saw the Super Bowl one where they're like, who who you got in the big game, Chiefs or or Niners? And he's like, Eagles. And you're like, holy <laughs> shit, dude. Because my like, wife likes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. As he, he's an Eagles household. <laughs> and then they ask him if he's like for uh, like Travis Kelsey or Jason Kelsey or, or whatever. And he's like, the mama. For mom, I heard you make a killer cookie. And you're like, holy shit, this guy is. <laughs> he would be fun to hang out with. Sure. Uh, I, sure. I could, I could knock back some bruise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But like, uh, I could smoke a bowl with Joe. That'd yeah, be amazing. I, I just don't. Smoke weed, dude? Oh, yeah, smoke, oh yeah, I'm a chiller. Do you, ever, do you ever smoke weed on stream or is that illegal? Uh, no, but I I get the opposite. I get every single person thinking I'm high almost every stream. And really? I, hand of God, I'm not. But if I'm a little tired, my eyes get red or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And I'll get comments. Bro is so zonked in this one. Bro, is, I, listen, I know weed. This guy is on. I'm never high. I'm fucking tired of the bro is blank. Yeah. In the fake... Yeah, the fake uh, uh, oh a captured moment where what is bro doing or bro is bro is cooking or let bro cook or fucking we kind of, let bro uh, cook. What are you talking about? <laughs> we kind of did it to ourselves a little bit. We we get the comments of uh, how many tabs of acid did they take, which is uh, exactly uh, which is fair considering we <laughs> right you because you're, you're on acid right now. We did acid uh, in Japan when we did it for that video, and yeah, and we like fake acid. But, and uh, I famously have microdosed. I, I did acid when we interviewed uh, Vlad from um, Robin Hood. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> and he didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which I don't know if it was the best decision. You to threw him under the bus. Yeah. On yeah. <laughs> well, what we realized, uh, what we realized when we took the acid yeah. at the at the mall to go shopping, we were like, Oh, we'll take acid and we'll have these funny conversations. But when you're on acid, all you want to do is like experience things. Yeah. And so like poor Dylan's like, say something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause we're just like, Oh, look at this. Thing. Yeah. Wow, that was fun for crazy. me as a viewer. That was, that was much fun too. That you guys are just like childlike wonder. Right. You know, and I had just been there. That's why it was so funny to me. We're like walking around that Barnes and Noble. It's like, this is, this is great. It was not uh, nightmarish either. No, it was. Uh, I've never done acid. I have no. Oh, really? I can't. I can't. Uh, I don't know what your experience is like. It was just fun to watch. I've never it, done it. It's a like, very fun thing. It's like the you know how coffee makes you all jittery and like anxious. Sure. It's kind of like that. Okay. You're just a little jittery <laughs> and anxious. No, I don't feel anxious really? on it though. I feel like it's really really. You guys didn't good seem coffee. anxious. No. Uh, it can. You can have waves of anxiety. Yeah, for sure. Having the sunglasses on truly helped. Like if I was walking your shield of the world. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. if I didn't have them on, I'd be a little, but like everyone back, knows we took, you know, we took it at, and that was, I was very scared because the, I do take acid like from time to time, but it's usually always in like the most beautiful, I did it in like Yosemite. I did, we did it at this Island in Japan. That's it's called Naoshima Island. And it's a, it's this like, it's, this beautiful island with all these incredible art museums. Like, some okay. Of the so you're just, yeah, yeah. it's, <clears throat> but like I don't, I didn't feel an ounce of anxiety. I was just no, like not walking. There. Yeah, but oh, so I was like, when oh. we go to the mall, 
I was like, I'm gonna have a fucking <laughs> meltdown. Like, the three most beautiful places on Earth: Yosemite, yeah, 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 Nashville yeah. Island, and the Grove. <laughs> the Grove. Yeah, <laughs> it is quite nice. It feels like downtown a, Disney. It is a it's a temple of of capitalism. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's every, Rick Caruso. We we, we yeah. see a bit of what what LA could have been. And that we, rooftop on the f- the parking structure rooftop really is one of the best views in all of Los Angeles. Oh yeah, you get to see the hills. <laughs> you really can't beat it. <laughs> It really is. You might be right, but that is a funny sentence. That view from the parking structure roofs of the Grove it's is like just eight floors. It takes your breath away. Oh, it really you look does. out on the four hundred five, and you see that smog. And oh yeah, the fart cloud uh, smog. I mean, LA is a f- ugly city. It's not a yes. Yeah, it's not a beautiful city. No. I like LA. I, I'm 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 a resident. I'm staying here. I like. Where are it. you from? Ah, uh, I love this question. I get to do my whole speech. Mm. With military family, mm, so I oh, lived in thirteen states. I lived in Germany and Japan. I was born in Germany. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. uh, Ramstein or no? Uh, in the south. Okay. Um, I don't want to say the name. Don't of say it. it. Yeah. Don't. They'll find your birth certificate. <laughs> oh, that's one of your secret <laughs> questions on your bank account. Uh, I do. <laughs> I do use it for a lot of things because I'm like, no, don't say. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So that's why I, I grew up. We moved every year, every year or two. Wait. So where were you born? I was born in Luke Air Force Base, Arizona. But we moved within one year, so hmm. it was all over. So Damn. I don't have a place I call home. Really interesting. Yeah. Um, uh, pretty same. Yeah. You, you claim Jersey though, but like no one. I live in Jersey. My, you live in Jersey. Yeah. Was it Fort Monmouth or Fort Dix? Possibly. I, I okay, was, pretty, yeah, I was yeah. like two to five. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like pretty uh, young. But de- like none of my family lives there anymore. It's like it's hard for me to. Um, but yeah, I spent the majority of my childhood there, so it okay. definitely feels yeah, yeah. like. What branch of the military? Air Force. Cool. Is your dad a pilot? He. He or mom has no, <laughs> yeah, <you> sexist. <laughs> the doctor was the mom. Uh, yeah, uh, he was a pilot briefly, then he became a, a commander. So what did he pilot? Big radar planes, uh, oh, AWACS, yeah, the, the ones that refuel you or like radar. Uh, sorry, in, in Germany, you yeah, know, the uh, recon yeah, stuff, yeah, the recon stuff. That's pretty cool. AWACS, what does that stand for? Airborne, <laughs> dude. I so I, you know, when your dad's into it, you're not into it, right? Yeah, I, sure. I remember my dad would drag me to hundreds of air shows. I fucking hated planes. Oh. <laughs> You're talking to the wrong guy. This guy's you guys, you guys think it's cool? Yeah, I'm, the, I'm so opposite. I love airplanes, man. I was, I've seen the Blue Angels 40 times, and I just, I want to <laughs> hang myself, dude. Well, if I got to see the Blue Angels one more time. See, I'm not impressed by the Blue Angels. I see that, I'm like, oh, here they come, and there they go. Oh, they were flying pretty close together, I guess. Oh, wow. I, I'm more just like, I like he seeing. He likes like commercial airplanes. Really? I like them all. You like dude. a. Big, small. We, <laughs> <laughs> tall, Pretty short. Small, tall. I like them They're all. They're all beautiful to me. Yeah, they are. I like watching, uh, uh, I like watching um, my newest thing. There's this guy on TikTok who um, puts in like the, the most insane weather parameters on Microsoft Flight Sim. Okay. Like super high wind. Tornado and, storm. And, and like he's landing a triple seven on the world's <laughs> shortest uh, uh, <laughs> runway. But he's, he's, he's somehow uh, rigged it so he's controlling it with a PlayStation controller. And it's just, it's fun because you see the plane coming in at like a steep angle and the wind's howling and he... He landed one. He landed like a 737 on a helicopter pad <laughs> in Dubai because the wind was so. I love when he stems out on on planes. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you see the guy who built a? He, <laughs> he he built like a. It was like an arc an RC plane, but um, it was fucking big. Yeah, it's like one sixteenth size. But, but he crashed it. Yeah, and it was like two hundred ninety five thousand dollars. Yeah, like, just like that. Because I remember I was like, damn, I should. I thought it was. I was like, it's probably a toy or whatever. So I was like, I should get Ben one of these. And then I saw him. I was like, yeah, oh, price tag. Can't yeah, get maybe if you were Justin Bieber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why he's my reference. That's your, that's your rich man. <laughs> he's, yeah, Justin he's, Bieber. He's doing well for himself. He's doing all right. Good for him. Yeah. He can afford I, an RC plane. <laughs> yeah. I went on Zillow a moment ago just to look at a, apartments before, um, before we started. And for some reason on the homepage of Zillow, it shows the like most expensive house in LA is available on Zillow. Wait, it's did like you see the the thing I sent you about million dollars <clears throat> or more than that? Hundred million dollar house. Million dollar house in like Bel Air or some shit. Did you? Is it this one? The America's most expensive? Oh no, no, because I think this one's in Florida. No, America's most no expensive. it wasn't that one in Florida for two hundred ninety five million. Some Chinese guy's gonna buy that, dude. You think I know so? Jeff yeah. Bezos bought the last most expensive house in L A. He, he wanted did? To, he wanted to be near the studios. He wanted to have like a because they were they bought MGM. Amazon oh, bought right. MGM, and then he just he bought the house. It was like a hundred million dollars. It was like the old Warner Brothers estate or something that you bought. And so also who it was the like fuck a message in Naples, Florida. Fucking Donald Trump. I don't know. Financier John Donahue. There you go, man. 
That's who I want to be. That's that's you want to be Donahue. I want to be an. I want to be like a no name. <laughs> oh, I'm a financier. That is the rich and anonymous. Those guys. Oh, yeah. I mean, made, that's dude. the. That's what, dude. I always say this. Like, the, there's there, it's a sickness if you if you have all this money and you're like, I still need to be the center of attention. Like watching Bill, Bill Ackman, Ackman go through this shit. <laughs> I'm like, you are fucking He's a psycho. You're so unwell. Yeah. Like you have enough money to be left alone forever, but instead you're like, no, I am going to, to be involved. I'm gonna write essays every day to, to on my Twitter yeah. of got, all places. He's got wisdom. And it. I mean, did still. you see the did you see the New Yorker or whatever it was the the article that just came out the the, the hamburger the, the the one where he's talking about. How yeah. like <laughs> hamburger name? Yes, exactly. Yes, hamburger yeah, I met guys whose last name is Hamburger, and they end up working with burgers. I mean, <laughs> I'm just obsessed with this guy. Like, if you guys don't know Bill Ackman, hedge fund manager, I think oh, right. we, call him okay. Cry, okay. we call him Crybaby Ackman. Okay, super duper rich, and uh, got involved because his wife there was a plagiarism scandal or something. Yeah. And then, just wouldn't shut up about it. And then the, the article reveals that she wanted him to stop. Like she was asking yes, him. Yes, dude. That, and, and he's so fucking dimwitted. Like yeah. he's going, well, babe, there's a lot of women on Twitter going, I wish, wish my you, husband yeah. was like Bill Ackman. It's like, it's like, dude, your wife you is are, begging your you wife to leave it alone. <laughs> I mean, that's she's, truly psychotic and, behavior. she's getting so much heat. And yeah. she's like, can't it's we just it not? Worse and he's it. like, no, I've got to write my essays, babe. Yeah, I've, I want to. This a fucking guy who got kicked in the head by that's a horse. The saddest, thing, the saddest thing in the world to me and makes me cringe the most is a wife asking her husband to stop tweeting. <laughs> yes. It just makes me go, oh, that's worse you know, than like getting spanked. A guy a billionaire family can go, go to Barbados and just Truly. do it. They can do anything uh, they want. And Truly. he's spending his time against his wife, which is tweeting about. Try, it's winter. It's, he could be skiing in Switzerland. He could be eating so much horse. Yeah, it's just uh, crazy. Yeah, dude. And, and the finest stallions, dude. He could raise oh, yeah. You see that <laughs> Zuckerberg? Oh yeah, he made his own ranch. He's yeah. raising him on private like macadamia nuts. So, he's like, doing it right, man. <laughs> exactly. Go do something That's weird. Like he's that. not tweeting. He owns social media. He's not even tweeting. Also, Chinese I, do, I, uh, I think so. Yeah, Priscilla Chan or something. I they do want to because uh, we referenced the hamburger thing. I, I want our audience to know yeah what read we're it. I mean, it's, about, it really it's is wild. Fucking incredible. This is a billionaire. This is people who are like. He's a smart guy. We respect this guy. There's people on fucking Twitter being like, this is the daddy Ackman. We got to listen to him. Sure. Ackman believes that our lives are often faded from birth. And this is a quote. I have a view that people become their names. Like I've met people named Hamburger that own <laughs> McDonald's franchises. <laughs> Quotes over. We'd been talking for nearly an hour and a half when Ackman asked me what my name was, hoping to offer a diagnosis. After he seemed momentum momentarily stumped by my surname, I offered him my first name, which he misheard as read and he goes read right before turning back to himself so not my name is ackman it's like activist man <laughs> well it's got i gotta note that when he said read dot 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 right he meant like oh, w-r right, right right exactly he was right, like, right, 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 right. writer right yeah yeah, writer. yeah. He, but he misheard the name <laughs> yeah so so my also, name is ackman yeah just a like fucking activist like trying to force that by the way into the conversation <laughs> i'm head. an activist man also i like how after an hour and a half he yeah. asked the person's name yeah. yeah just i don't know brain rot billionaire brain, brain, brain rot I but gotta you know, find the fucking you know who else, stuff about his wife. The while you're looking that up, I, I think of the um the Cisco guy. Uh, what's his name? Fuck. This the the CEO, the founder Hamburger, CEO. I think his name was. No. Tom Cisco. <laughs> uh Tom Computer System. <laughs> his his uh, <laughs> that makes sense. Oh yeah, my name is Tom Computer. That's why I got That's, into this business. It's actually the dumbest fucking theory. It really Dude, it's it's so actually fucking one of the stupid. dumbest fucking like things just never a billionaire has ever said. <laughs> well, that's the guy. It that actually like, makes you know, Elon seem smart. It's like that's really stupid. It's Think really of the guy just who, a coincidence. <laughs> All it is is a coincidence. Although my name is Brandon, and I work in marketing. Yeah. Mm. Brand on. Mm. There's Brandy. actually a lot. Of actually, yeah, I was gonna I disprove it. Oh, Bill like Ackman's my buddy my who started Xerox, uh, Phil Photocopy. <laughs> <laughs> I like. Wait, so they have, uh, so Neri Oxman is as well. We did a, we did an episode talking about this, but this came out way after, obviously. But, uh, so Oxman, for her part, his wife, wasn't sure what to make of her husband's chivalrous tweeting, which had drawn even more attention to the allegations. Through Ackman's spokesperson, she declined to comment for the story. Ackman wrote on X that the pressure from the business insider stories could have literally killed her. 
and that he had seen others commit suicide in similar circumstances. She was in a pretty dark place, Ackman told me, adding that he tried to nudge her toward finding a silver lining. I'm like, look, you didn't do anything wrong. We will get this fixed. And actually, the more negative press, the better. Once we turn this around, it'll be good for your company. He wasn't sure the pitch had landed. There were times when she said, please don't tweet anymore. But he defended himself by pointing to memes online suggesting he had become a hero to wives everywhere. There's a meme going around that apparently I'm causing a lot of marriages to have trouble. Like this one where a husband emails his wife, honey, I did the dishes. And she's like, big fucking deal. Did you see what Ackman's doing for his wife? Fucking psychotic. Psychotic. Nobody's she, doing that. Yeah. They're, no one they're, they're probably like fanboys going, making shit up. No wife is like, yeah. oh, you right. see what yeah. Oh, yeah. All he's seeing is his, is his fans tweeting him like, yeah. my wife wishes yeah. she was fucking you instead of me. You seen the yeah. classic oh. Elon fanboy where Elon tweets, I haven't had sex in a while, and the guy's like, Oh yeah, Listen, I, I love my wife, you. but it'd be an honor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't enjoy it, but like if my man needs it, please. That's use my crazy. Asshole. Yeah. No, did he say I blow him or use his? Yeah, asshole? yeah. I think I think he was like, I'll suck you <laughs> off right I now. Think he was that specific. <laughs> I did. I did. You guys have imagined two different sex scenarios that he didn't. <laughs> No, he said, he said, I think I would blow I you. I swear to you, he didn't mention blowing or asshole. Really? You guys have had both of those. <laughs> well, I'm sure the guy's down for either That's or. That's just how we uh, do yeah, it at the yeah, Ben yeah, and Show. The when, someone show. Says, when someone says they'll fuck Elon, we like to we imagine how. <laughs> Dang. I don't think he's a tender lover, by the way. If I'm gonna, Elon? No, no. I, I, he's so. I bet he... He's a jackrabbit. He's... He's gay. <laughs> I bet his ball. I bet everything is fully shaved, and I bet his dick is pierced, and he uses like cock rings. So you, <laughs> really? Oh yeah, dude. so vivid. Come on, I you think his dick is pierced? I yes. I, he doesn't seem that. I bet he's got that kind of. I bet he's got that kind of weird shit going on. He's into like, uh, you know, he's into he's Grimes. Like, yeah, he's like he's into Grimes. He's like the older kind of steampunk guy. <laughs> he's the '90s Burning Man. You should do one type. of those grayscale Elon photos and write a fan fiction. Like I, could, I, bet, it, I bet he would. Oh God, those fucking the Tesla Owners Society and stuff. They, I just, I can't, I can't get into. Some it. of them are turn on. Look, we talk about you know in the little econ topic. Uh, for the longest time, a year ago, it's been the Mag Seven. It's been these seven companies holding up the whole stock market. They're all yeah. growing. Kind of the Mag Six now. Tesla's the only one. Everyone else is pumping. They're Tesla. Eh, eh, Tesla's yeah. down, and you see all the Tesla believers. Uh, I forget, like Ross Gerber, all these like oh, diehards man. on Twitter. I forgot about. Him. And they're like, uh, they're pissed. They're mad. they're like, you know, it feels different this time. Like the, Tesla's not making money. They're or they're like they're making some money, but it's it's earnings was bad last one. And I met Ross Gerber. You have in person? Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, How in like 2018. I had made a good amount of money in the stock market and I was talking, I was interacting with him back and forth on Twitter for some reason. I don't remember. And I was moving in the process of moving back to LA from New York and uh, we were DMing and I, I thought that he was maybe going to give, offer me a job trading for his like fund, his cool. hedge fund, whatever, which is totally stupid and, and, completely impossible now that I realize it, but he invited me to his office in Santa Monica. I went and, um, he, yeah, he just because of Twitter. Like you, you yeah. interacted. He's like, cool. yeah, come by. I'll, it'd be nice to, to meet you and talk. And, um, when I got there, he almost seemed like, wait, who are you? So who are <laughs> you? And I'm like, yeah, well, I'm the guy I'm from Twitter. Remember we, we planned this. And, uh, he was like, oh yeah, sure. So, so tell me like, what are your, he was, Pitching me on on giving him my money to manage for him, really, oh, which is Jesus. like fine and normal. Uh, uh, is I, it? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. To be constantly pitching, I, but I got the impression <laughs> that he was not. Uh, he like bragged a few times about. So what did you you know? And I said, oh yeah, I made a lot of money on weed stocks. He goes, oh yeah, me too. I made a few million on fucking. Oh, he was blah, like blah 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 blah. Made a few million on da da da, and uh, you know if you had had your money with us. At this point, you could probably already five extra, blah, 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 blah. And I just thought, okay, man. And That's then he so said, uh, yeah, my wife's got this startup that she's in. My, my, my wife's real smart, too. And my wife, is blah, blah, blah. I, he's just, Jesus. and I just thought, all right, get me the fuck out of here. Yeah. I got I to gotta put a face to this guy. 
Ross Gerber, and he he made a ton of money on Tesla. Massive money. He's one of the most diehard Tesla oh my God. Twitter he's fans. He's like a fucking bad guy in a movie. Yeah, he's like a villain. No, he's too stupid looking to be a bad guy. <laughs> Dude, he he's literally too, looks he's, like Rob Lowe in fucking Tommy Boy. He doesn't have psycho eyes, though. He's, <laughs> he's got, he doesn't have psycho, but he's just, uh, how would I describe him? He's too confident. His confidence does not at all reflect his actual skill set or intelligence sure i think he scored it big because he got into tesla before it like 20 x super early so he really and was die hard and has yeah. been an elon Which on the those, table i always said him the those guys i fucking understand if you like made a bunch of money on if you tesla, made life-changing like, money then you ride whoever like, for, yeah, for, yeah, for, yeah. but it's the Me, guys <laughs> yeah but it's the guys who are like fucking broke and just like they own a idiots, share and like, a half and they're <laughs> yeah, I'm like, Elon's what? my dad <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly? 100 like, percent. no as it, he attracts a weird type of person i think wait yeah. do you know meet kevin no it's meet kevin you haven't seen meet kevin kevin uh, uh he used to be part of the iced coffee that guy oh graham uh, stefan he used to be yeah he and graham stefan used to be uh buddies Okay. They, Are they, they not had, anymore? You know I who, thought you know who Graham Stephan I thought Ice Coffee was just two people. It is, but it before, used to be three. Before it was the Ice Coffee. I think it was always called the Ice Coffee Hour. It might have been three. It was uh, Kevin Park. What's his last name? Pa- I don't know. I just know Meet Kevin. I but, know Graham Stephan, but I don't know. Yeah, they used to be part of the same real. They would all only talk about real estate and stock market stuff and like how to do. It was all you remember. It was all educational and sure. stuff. Sure. And um. Yeah, he branched off and did his own thing and called calls his show Meet Kevin. And it is the most uh, uh impotent would be the wrong word. Because <laughs> but you open with it. <laughs> because impotent impotent implies that it's um I mean it in a in a sexual way. Right. You I think he why, has a small I, penis. I, what I, you're no, <laughs> no. I see him as no, he just, thinks he can't get hard. I, I see, I see, I see yeah, him I see. as just sexless. Right. Okay. I see him as like uh, as just Oh, this guy doesn't ever get horny or have sex. Sure. What a he's just no, a, no charisma, I guess. He's it's just like a it's fucking... A, yeah, I'm going to turn my... He's, he's, to be quiet, I don't know who this guy is. I'm not... <laughs> no, you're <laughs> endorsing this. Okay, I'm always <laughs> being careful. I don't, pull, I don't like starting beef with other content creators. Uh, he is now I don't like know a, him. He's a CNBC... Um, they regularly cut away to him to have him give his opinion on stuff. <laughs> He's like a cringy. That's a funny picture. That's after a funny picture. That he's like yeah. a sexless, <laughs> impotent. It does look like a Ken doll a little bit. Like there's no dick down there, but I, again, I don't know anything about him. He talks, yeah. he talks really, uh, pa- Pafrath. Yeah, that's right. He talks really, uh, his lips always look really dry. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're making me feel bad for him because you No, he I'm sure he's a great, dry. And okay. I'm not I'm not making I'm not like right. saying he's a bad person, but it's just it's but really his lips are dry. It's so really dry. So obviously throw him in the gulag too. <laughs> because he's one of the guys who made all fucking dry lips, dude. I can't trust him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you don't have the the the, the cognizance to lick your lips <laughs> or put on I don't point. fucking trust you. What do you mean my <laughs> mouth is dry? Is that his voice? <laughs> yeah, he okay. kind of he puts he puts on an affect, and he's he's very like, well, Tesla, da 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 da. He's just, I he also yeah he probably made twenty to thirty million dollars. Jesus, off of Tesla. Yeah, he went all in. See again, I would dick ride so hard. Yeah, I feel like there's no me. problem with that. I would too. Twenty but, thirty million dollars is such an amount of money. That yeah. he's, but he's also one of the people when it was uh, when it pulled back like ten percent from all time highs. He was guiding his. He actually kind of does give investment advice. He's like, I'm buying more. I'm buying yeah, more Tesla, yeah. and you should too. And here's that why: stuff. you could still it could still be a ten trillion dollar. Co- it's I just hate. fucking and like Kathy Wood Woods is it Woods or Kathy Wood? Wood? Yeah, she it's it's really incredible because her whole thing is all about innovation and seeing the future and all this shit. She totally missed. She missed Nvidia. She, she missed, missed Nvidia. She, I mean, Super Micro. She she's missed in a, so such much a shit. small pool of yeah. stocks that she could pick, and she picked all of the wrong ones at the wrong times, and then so, it's it's like monkey at a dartboard level bad. If you, you look at her, do you get her uh, the the Arc Daily no, Digest? the newsletter? No, they, no. They, they, so they by the way, Kathy Woods. We we should do a thing on it because they just sent out their big ideas twenty twenty four. Yeah, we've thing. done it before. Which I mean, she look just, at their big like, ideas. She just misses. She's, she's yeah, not I, mean, very just, forward I think thinker, she just like, misses. Like uh, she again, where she it's would, like in a field where it's hard to miss because everything's been pumping. Yeah, like but it, she she scored majorly on Tesla, and she personally made like. Two hundred million dollars 
on call options when Tesla really squeezed in 2020 or 2021. Right. And from there, finance media has treated her as like, oh, well, she fucking not only did she nail her Tesla call, but she's into she's into all these other things. So they they still it's just oh, I mean, man. if you look at her return since 20, like 2021 at the peak of the absolute, you know, NFT level mania, it's been awful. Like she's. She's missed the boat on everything else. I mean, she got it. She got everything was up the first time. One thing I do appreciate about her and, and their strategy is they are very transparent. Sorry, that was a lot of spit. I just said so much. <laughs> You're transparent. They're very transparent. And they 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 send out a daily email oh, wow. with all of their fund activity. They sold this, they bought this, they sold this. And it just makes my stomach drop whenever I see them buying something that I've recently bought. Because it just feels like, oh, great. It's like when Jim Cramer endorses whatever year. Dude, uh, oh, yeah, when he, like, cried about uh, Facebook. Meta. And, and then it, it quintupled. That was the bottom tick for the. <laughs> it's it's wild that they never acknowledge that on, on CNBC. If I were any one of those anchors, you got to ask him. Yeah, like, why, why? Hey, man, how do you feel about everybody looking at you as their contraindicator? <laughs> You're like, well, you, Constantly you, wrong. You got to be. I mean, I'm sure he's right. He's got to have some right calls, right? If he was, if he was actually constantly wrong, it would be impressive. Yeah. I assume he's just, I assume he's random. I assume there's just no. Well, didn't they do like an inverse Kramer fund? And ETF. It, and it didn't. It didn't do that well. Yeah. ETFs are hard, I would assume. Well, also, I mean, he's been pretty pro NVIDIA. And so I would mm. assume no matter what, right, everything, they probably skewed out. everything. Yeah. It's probably, the way it's probably the whole market. So. Have you True. seen how many NVIDIA uh, derivative ETFs there are? There's like seven. I haven't. There's like an, uh, it's like NVDS, NVDL, NVDX, NVD. What is it like 4X leveraged NVIDIA some calls? Some are long, yeah. some are, short. it's a one and a half long leveraged, triple leveraged, then one and a half short, triple short. And then there's like a, an options selling income fund where they're just selling options on NVIDIA. And to me, that's like, that's, that has echoes of. The de degeneracy is getting, I mean, it was, fucking if you look insane. at the, the, the breadth, products yeah, like that of the market, it's like all of the movement and we're hitting all time highs is all of the movement is from NVIDIA. 36% or something is from NVIDIA. The rest is like Amazon, Google, Facebook. And like, it, don't forget the zero day option world the that's zero what I'm saying. it's, all, it's yeah. all it's all pumping into these four you know mag mag six maybe stocks they're carrying all the movement if you took them out the s&p's flat to down over the past year the russell 2000 is like openly down like every company is doing kind of shitty and these companies everyone is relying on if they don't if they crack it's like yeah because that's not the story you hear it's like that's not the story you hear that's not the, the headline you tell like the story's the, all-time the, high the yeah. story's, everything's great there's right. no problem to me, I, I get worried, man. I, I, I the the breath has not been this concentrated since uh since oh one since, since the dot com, so it's like we are all in on the if these stocks don't if AI doesn't pan out and these don't keep making money and printing earnings like right the I feel like people are in trouble. I feel like the that's permables on FinTwit would say, well, that just means that the breadth has room to improve. Sure, and that'll just be the uh the dispersion. It'll it'll the rotation. We'll take care of it, and we'll be the afterburners to send the market. You know Tom Lee? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, Tom, I fucking Tom hate Lee perma perma bowl. Oh, actually, but he's been right. I mean, he's yeah. been he's been semi right, he which pisses me, me off. He blocked oh, he? me on Twitter. Yeah, because I, I I made fun of him because all you ever see is just like fun strats. Tom Lee says that the S and P will da 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 da, yeah. and I I keep saying da 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 blah 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 this episode. That's, That's all right. That's but, fine. Uh, don't don't beat up so on yourself. I At least tweeted, you don't have dry lips. Yeah. <laughs> That would be a fucking crime. I do be on LL Cool J mode <laughs> with, the, with, the, with the way I'm licking my lips. Uh, but I tweeted him and I said, wow, according to Fun Strats Tom Lee, Tom Lee says that the S&P could reach 5,000 by the end of the Which year, is according to Tom Lee. <laughs> and he just fucking blocked me. That's good. Yeah. And, and Sven. What a baby. That's, North, a, that's, such a, that's such a, yeah, that's a funny little jab, dude. I just, well, because I was sick of, I, I was sick of every time there was like, it just, he's made his whole brand Tom Lee and then S and P higher. That's, that's what he just says. And because it's uh, so easy, it's so it doesn't easy. require There's any no strategy nuance. to it, it's and just, everyone wants to hear it. Actually, yeah, actually, I think yeah. that the market could go. And he just make it's like when t uh, Kathy Wood was doing the same thing yeah. with Tesla, where oh, I could uh, be a ten trillion dollar stock. Yeah, <laughs> actually, wow, it could be worth five thousand dollars a share. And it's like shut the fuck and like, up. Everybody, you know, they don't. 
research and they just want to hear that. And so they get, they get these news gigs and they get on there, but I don't think there's any math to it. There's any truth to it. And, uh, yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not a bear by any means. I just, I feel like nobody talks about, you know, it's a, it's a bit of shaking it. Like the market is not as rosy as everyone's saying. And can I tell you what I'm pissed uh, about? Yeah, please. I'm pissed that I've been doing this for over 15 years trading and I, by all accounts, should have millions of dollars and could be very much fucked off and just not working. And I would still do something like this. You could like be this. Bill Ackman. You could still be tweeting. And I could still be <laughs> tweeting for my beautiful wife. But I, I, for my wife. I feel like um, now more than ever, the chance to have made life-changing money is all but gone. I think everyone, I think people feel that. And it's just like the 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 lines have been drawn and it's now to the point where the wealthy will just, they've truly cracked the code in terms of the market structure to preserve, not only preserve their existing wealth, but continually just jack it higher because of the power of derivatives, because of the power of yes. options. They can now, the tail truly wags the dog. Yeah. And with only a few million dollars in options, particularly same day expiration options, which they only started introducing a few years ago, as you know, yeah. it is now possible to just buoy the market indefinitely you see uh uh who's the who's the japanese billionaire tech guy Ma uh, Ma masayoshi son yeah that guy has been pumping i mean what they did with arm i feel like is it should be criminal they have only let 10 percent of the stock uh actually be sold so it, you know the the flow is only 10 percent, 90 percent they keep behind and he's buying zero dtes all the time and it's just it's you know, there's only a little bit of movement, and that makes the value of everything go way up. Tail wags the dog, and they are they are just pumping that thing. And everyone who just looks at price action, which everyone does now, that's no one looks at fundamentals. They're like, this stock is amazing, like it's, it's flawless, but it is a very shaky. It is on very shaky ground. What do you they know? do again? They they just license. They they design CPU chips uh, and then license them to people to create them. So right, I mean they they have value. Nvidia tried to buy them uh, when I was there. Got blocked by antitrust, mm. which probably makes sense because it would have been really good for NVIDIA. Uh, would have been nice for my stock options, which are fine, I guess. But, um, Do you still have your stock options? I, I have. You, not dude. all of them. Not all of them. Still, good for you. Uh, 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 I love but to yes, hear that. But yes, that uh, that, I'm happy about that, obviously. Dude, obviously. <laughs> that's luck. I mean, that's lottery. That's yeah. luck. Fuck yeah. Because uh, when I started to work at NVIDIA, I, did, I was not, this is a future making company. I was like, I like video games. NVIDIA is the video gaming company. I make my own PC. And then over the five years I was there, it switched from gaming company to like, we are the AI company. You'd start to see robots going around the office. They built this what? big spaceship office. Yeah. Dude, and, that kind of, see, that's the kind of I felt like I just hit a lottery. Like I, for me, the stock just started to go up and up and up. And then, then Jensen would talk about, we're doing data centers for everybody. And like, that's not what I knew. And all I did was sell graphics card to gamers, to, to people who wanted to play WoW with higher graphics settings. That's, a, that's what I worked on. But uh, yeah, so that was lucky. That was cool. Um, Damn. Um, but but weird, you know, and I still, I'm, I'm not sure that it's worth, you know, that much. Almost three trillion. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just past Amazon and Google, which can right. have revenues that are so far beyond. Well, uh, but if you believe, like, did you, did you see the interview? He was, Jensen Wong was talking about, <clears throat> excuse me, in a recent ep, uh, interview that uh, he was saying that the next thing is sovereign nations are going to need their own. Yeah. But their again, own dedicated artificial intelligence models and stuff, which is going to, again, require building out infrastructure right. that's going to benefit them. And You know and what I'm saying? That's the world's biggest hammer salesman saying everyone needs to that's a good, get into yeah. nails. Like, it, 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 I see what he's saying. I think he's brilliant. I think he's, I mean, I think Jensen Wong's fucking smart, straight up. And I've been in a couple of meetings with him, and I, I just get the idea that he's an incredibly driven, focused guy. But... When he says that, that is the most talking your own book. Like everyone needs to use us to buy a million more H100 GPUs for fifty thousand dollars that we made for seven hundred bucks. Uh, and God. is and that how much it fucking cost? It, him, yeah, man? the 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 profit margin on the video stuff is absurd. Jesus, it's Christ. absurd. I mean, it's at levels that like, and it's because no one else can do it right now, and that's and why. And you skipped over the part where you, they went from games to uh, blockchain, right? Because there was a crypto like, crash too. Uh, yeah. yeah, for a while, everyone was buying all these gaming GPUs. They were sold out because using the mine crypto, and uh, the stock pumped. And I was there. Everyone was happy. And then 
uh, there was a bit of a crypto crash and all this stuff started getting returned and there was mm. a flooded market with GPUs and everyone was buying them for cheap. Stock went down and everyone was like, oh shit, we should have sold. Thank God we didn't. But <laughs> Was there uh, like just, I imagine that at the offices now, it's just everybody showing up to work and just so happy. Everybody's happy. Well, everyone's happy, but the new employees who, oh, there's yeah. a real sense, there's an article about this, but I've also heard from my friends that still work there. There's a sense of, uh, like really deep rest and vest complacency because a lot of even middle managers are now millionaires. Like there's a lot of people that made life changing money mm. and all they're doing is like, I'm waiting out my three year, my four yeah. year, whatever, talking about my stock and I'm just going to retire. I'm retire young. Yeah. Uh, and they're not caring. They're not, there's no, they're no longer mission driven. They're not, they're, they're really set. They, yeah. They're financially set way ahead of their, that they'd be. See, and that so, I appreciate. I like that. Which you're, is fine. You're, you're a freak if you're worth millions of dollars. Yeah, and you're like, like I still no, want to make Jensen more do, money. Yeah, <laughs> I want to make sure I come in here and do the best job. I, I mean, the minute I hit that, Yeah, I'm like, exactly. I'm coasting. People are people. You know, people are coasting. Man, come on. No uh, shot. But obviously, the new guy that comes in, and like his manager, again, I felt this at Twitch. So w I didn't make any real money from when Amazon bought Twitch. I was pretty junior. Uh, you know, I, I, more than I thought I'd make, but like nothing that could change my life. And the people above me, my C, the CMO and the guys I work for in marketing, just check the fuck out. And I'm like, I want, you know, I want to do a big, I want to get noticed so I can get promoted. Like, I want to, I'm, you know, I don't care about the company, but I care about me growing. And they just wouldn't even show up to work. I mean, I, I remember I was friends with the secretary at the front, you know, like a Jim and Pam type thing where I was flirting with her a little bit. Uh, she had their mail. They started getting like yachting magazines. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> like, it's like almost like a, you know, it's a movie. It's yeah. like, a, it's like scene direction. Uh, it was crazy. Like their lives changed and they just didn't care. And so there is something to that for everyone else. That's like trying to make it happen. Um, but so the new employees coming in are like, yeah. And they're actually they're getting paid hungry. fine. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're like, they, they feel like they want to get a project going or like, yeah. and just knowing the, 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 the kind of rot is started to set in where everything's getting real slow. Well, and then you've got, obviously the higher the stock goes, uh, the higher your, um, your strike price of your options. Too. Right. If you're just starting to, like if you get 50K and it's priced at uh, 700 a share, then if there's any drop, like you're yeah. actually, you're losing money. Yeah. When I, as opposed I, to, I worked at BuzzFeed in marketing for a couple of years in before 2020. Before Facebook. Uh, oh yeah. Before yeah. it was like, well, it was. No, 20, during the Facebook era maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was 2015 to 2018. I, you could say that I marked the top. Okay. Because um, <laughs> I, I got brought in. I'm a bad luck charm. And I got brought in right at their peak valuation. Dude, that was, okay. BuzzFeed was like the internet for a while. Oh, yeah. yeah. They were like, crushing. It and felt good to work there. but Taking then it, quizzes, finding out like what kind of slice of pizza they are or whatever the yeah. fuck was yeah, going on. Yeah, I did a couple of those for like <laughs> Totino's pizza rolls. What a fucking insane. I wanted to kill myself. That's what the internet was. Yeah. For just like. To that early 2010s. I was well, peak millennial internet before the Zoomers started coming. And they gave me stock. And I remember being like, oh, hell yeah. Okay. And I did the math on it. It was a whopping $2,500 worth <laughs> that would vest over four years at the peak valuation <laughs> so, of one so and a half went billion down to dollars. What, like 400 bucks, 300 bucks or what? It, it was, it, it was uh, yeah, one and a right. half billion dollar valuation. So I was like, wait, so I got to buy in. Twenty five hundred dollars worth. I get the I get the option to buy into BuzzFeed at a one and a half billion dollar valuation. <laughs> Even if I wanted to ten x that, I'm hoping yeah. for BuzzFeed to be worth fifteen billion dollars. <laughs> There's no fucking way. So I just said, yeah, I'm I'm not buying my options. Yeah. And, but there were people there who had worked there who were like employee number five, right? Who held on and stayed and stayed and stayed through the IPO, and are now like. They just, I, I hope to God that they sold and got at some something, point of value because it's gone now, right? Yeah. Oh, it's, like, it's, it's like, at like 20 cents. It's, yeah. I think it's valued currently. 20 cents? I think it's currently valued at like $30 million. Wow. That's and the guy, a... the guy who started, do you remember Cheddar? Yeah. John St Steinberg, I think. He was the president of BuzzFeed and they got an offer from Disney to be bought out for like, I don't know, $700 million. And rumor has it within the company, and maybe it might be public knowledge by now, but. He was practically begging Jonah Peretti, like, please sell this company to Disney. Yeah. This is the best working. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. the fuck was Disney going to do with it? I don't know. Fucking Disney. Disney. Make quizzes. quizzes. Yeah. What yeah, a Latin character. Stupid. Yeah, yeah. They, would, they, would make it, uh, they would make it fucking yeah. lame. But. As opposed to how cool it was before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, the corporate man would come yeah. in and turn Cheddar into a real. And Jonah Peretti said no. 
Yeah, we're not going to do that because I think that that's less than what we're worth. And he was right for a little <laughs> bit because when they raised again, it was at a little higher, uh, over a billion dollar valuation. But then John Steinberg was very smart and he was like, fuck this. I'm going to go make something and then turn it around and sell it like you're supposed to do. Yeah. And he went and made cheddar. And within like two years, he sold it for like a hundred and two yeah. hundred million dollars. Fucking cleaned up. That's the way to go. That's the, That's way, the way to go. go. That's the thing to do. Well, we gotta get do in, get out. Get in, get out. AI podcast <laughs> naked. <laughs> uh, so the cheddar thing happened. He made a bunch of money. Yeah. I, I knew a guy. Uh, he worked at Riot Games. They do League of Legends. Pretty big. Um, he left to start Ven V E N N TV. It was trying to be the MTV for gamers. They got a bunch of guys born in the seventies who who thought they could do this. Yeah. And uh, they raised a bunch of money. And, you know, it's kind of like, um, what was the Quibi? You remember Quibi? Oh, yeah. yes. It's kind of like that, a little smaller version of Quibi. And I I was almost going to join. You know, I was like, I was going to leave NVIDIA. <laughs> okay, this, is like, this is like year one and a half in NVIDIA. And they're like, yeah, we'll give you stock options. You'll, we'll, we'll, you know, your base pay will be up a little bit or whatever. And I was like, this seems pretty good. Like, this is a, a cool idea. And I remember talking to him about it. And he basically said, yeah, our plan is to do what Shedder did. We're just going to flip this bitch. We're going to. You know, we're going to get some users and then build some hype. And uh, then thank God, thank God, COVID happened. And again, they were, their, their thing was they were filming shows. Like they had to do it in person and like filming shut down. And so like they got scared and like everything slowed down. And I was like, I got scared. I was like, wait a minute. I don't want to be in this company. I don't know how long COVID is going to last. Right. It's like, oh, I think I'll stay with this NVIDIA, the, the unsafe bet. <laughs> but that was, the, and that they, they folded. I mean, they, they, you know, COVID ended. They, they tried some shows. Nobody watched them. Complete failure. Didn't get bought by anybody. Just a disaster top to bottom. And like I was this close. Like the, the financial difference in my life would have been so drastic. Uh, so yeah, that, that happened. And then, um, dude, what were you saying before Cheddar? Uh, BuzzFeed. Yeah, fuck. I'm sorry. If I, I don't think I've got companies that, uh, companies that, that, um, Get, just giving stock and, and I don't know. Yeah. I, I If I had worked at a company like NVIDIA, that that's where a leader is actually where not only are they already public, but they're substantial enough where you can tell that you're doing something that's having right, that's, that's in meaningful a, yeah. economic impact. Uh, oh, that would have been nice. I mean, BuzzFeed, to their credit, they had really cool offices. I really liked that part. Well, that's Probably the fun fucking vibes. problem with shit. Like, it's like Jonah Preddy was like, I don't know, I kind of want to start like a jokey fucking website and then all of a sudden he's got to be at the helm of this like huge company and they're like make the right decision he's like i can't i'm gonna fucking right yeah i'm gonna get high (laughs) (laughs) smoke weed um yeah i uh, i i did like it was a good job but uh yeah there was a girl i remember in 2018 i really hope she didn't i didn't really give her any advice actually but a friend of a friend was working at nvidia and had vested already all four years and the stock at the time was at all time highs, which was a valuation of, I think like $50 billion maybe. And she goes, yeah, I don't really know what to do. Should I sell this? Do you think that they, and I, I said, I, I don't know, you work there. Like, do you believe in what the company's doing? They're at all time highs. It could keep going. I don't know. You can sell a little. And obviously since then the stock has yeah, like split a thousand percent and or yeah, whatever, it's yeah. gone up more than that. Like, yeah three or four thousand percent and i would assume that she's probably one of those people who it just makes me so depressed when i think about it i'm like oh man i could be if only i had worked at some right just the right thing at the right the time right fucking company <laughs> uh but going back to the the market structure thing wait i got a, I just one more thing i got a friend sure good good friend of mine known for a long time he worked at twitch he's got a tweet that has I don't know, 50, retweets. It's just a random tweet he made in 2011, which is like, Bitcoin back down to $2. So fucking glad I sold all that mess. <laughs> like, yeah, like a uh, lot of oh, you know, it was real. It was real. It, it's, it's, it had like, you know, it had like three likes for 10 years and then someone found it. And now it's like the, the ultimate bottom. Like, I think he, I've seen that tweet. Yeah, I, a lot of people have seen it. It's, it's very, very popular. And we make fun of him all the time. Like he had a good amount of Bitcoin and, and like just dumped out of it. At you know $2 what, though, back in the day. like He probably bought on Mount Gox. And that sure, maybe it would have been lost. Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, the only thing, that, that's what brings me comfort, is like, if I had, because I, I, I witnessed the day Bitcoin was born. I was on my computer that day, and it was like, oh, here's this new thing called Bitcoin, and it's currently trading for like $20. You're Satoshi. You're the and man. I, you may- <laughs> don't tell anybody, dude. Sorry, I'm but sorry. But I told, uh, I, or I was sitting there, and I just thought, 
This is fucking stu- I read about it and I didn't really fully understand. Oh, yeah, I'm me like, too. oh, it's digital currency. This sounds like another fucking stupid thing. Here's yeah. the thing. It is fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, like it's no, no matter what, it's a speculative asset and people are making a lot of money on it and that's fine. I'm never going to like you obviously can make a lot of money on it, but it is fucking stupid. You can make a lot of money on Beanie Babies. Dude. I am a no coin pussy, and I'm fucking. I am a- I'm <laughs> jealous, and I'm furious we that are, I don't I fucking have it. We're not gonna make it, and yeah. we're stupid, and, and we're I, poor. I and we're- watched in uh. what was it, the summer of. 22 when it all fucking tanked I was so happy I was like good it's finally fucking done <laughs> and I was like and what I should have done was fucking get in and yes I'm jealous and I'm pissed but no matter what and even if I made a bunch of money on it I'd be like this is fucking stupid yeah. I made a bunch of money on a yeah. stupid fucking thing 100% it is not done 100%. It, it has not come to fruition now, this thing that they're saying it I is Dogecoin is real that we can all agree that's, like, that's, that's, that's a, real, a real that's a stable asset cool for your family thing. for your retirement yeah, I remember a That's, guy, and I've told this story on here before. I remember a guy in one of my chat uh, trading chat rooms was like, "Hey man, uh, you see what Bitcoin's doing?" I'm like, "Yeah," because it had hit like a thousand or something. And he goes, "I'm just buying into this thing called Ethereum. It's going for five bucks, and I'm I'm putting a couple thousand dollars into it." And I was like, "Cool, dude. Good luck." <laughs> good the luck, only idiots. thing that I had heard of, <laughs> the only thing I had heard of at that time was Litecoin. I sure. thought, oh no, you fucking moron! Why are you putting it in bit in, in this in new thing? It's just, don't you know? It's Bitcoin and Litecoin. Even I know that dipshit. And he put it into Ethereum. And if only I had just taken a minute to Google it and look into it, because at that point, yeah, all I thought was it's just the two altcoins were just like sure. a new concept at that point. But and I mean, like at the end of the day, man, we could, you know, we could watch the lottery numbers Honestly, and be like, that, I was gonna say, do you know what I'm saying? Like, it, like this if, is, if we're all doing fine. Right? Yeah. Hit, we're not coal miners. Yeah, yeah, you know? What if my lottery numbers hit, man? Let's talk about that. It's like, uh, so haven't you ever no, had a couple but, numbers? But, yeah, that would suck to hit all five and then you miss the mega number. That God. <laughs> This has been like I get texts of like you know he talks like this. He, well, I'm just like look at this guy. Like these people are doing better than that, and I'm like, dude, our lives are objectively good. Everything yeah, you get, is yeah, good. Yeah, seems like everything's like, good, bro. Yeah, but did you see what that guy had? Yeah, yeah. I mean, man, man he dude, had good you got a horse meat in China, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta keep your eyes on your own plate, man. You gotta, yeah, if you're uh, out there and you're jealous of me, don't be. How long you guys been friends? I don't, I don't know your backstory. What, what's we met about? in twenty four weeks ago, twenty eighteen or something. Twenty eighteen or nineteen? Yeah. Uh, my best friend was, um, they met on Twitter and Ben was moving back to New York okay. or back to LA from New York. He met your best friend on Twitter yes. and they made a podcast with you. Well, so, uh, he got lunch with my friend and, uh, my friend Didn't was like, like no, 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 you got any friends I could talk to. My friend, was, <laughs> <laughs> my friend was like, I met this guy. I think you guys would like each other. And, um, you're both psycho. He said, yeah, you're both psycho. Interesting. And then, uh, he invited Ben to my party and he, he was like, I'm going to introduce them tonight. And like sparks are going to fly. And like, <laughs> and, so romantic. And, 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 like, like friendship spark. Yeah, yeah. and, uh, he was just like, well, here you are. And like, we we're both in the middle of like conversation and stuff. We we're like, Hey, how's it going, man? And <laughs> we, just, we just went back. And so we like, didn't talk the rest of the night, but then, uh, my friends started inviting him around more. And then we just like, we started to hit it off. And okay. we, we ended up going to the same gym. Too. Yeah, that that was oh, a big cool. part. Same yeah. climbing gym. Yeah, we would teach. You guys climb? Yeah, yeah. Not, still, so much not so much anymore. anymore. Yeah, get back into it. Invite me. Let's play. Let's let's let's. let's I like I've been it climbing still. recently. I've been I go, climbing. Uh, I'm bad. I just I do it regularly now. I honestly was like. Um, I kept like pulling things in my back and I was like, I can't fucking keep doing this. It was like, it was, I think it was two summers ago. I tweaked my neck and it was like fully the like, couldn't, you know, move. yeah, yeah, I was yeah. Like, that is scary. I, I got to fucking I feel yeah. like back and neck stuff. It's, it's just, just, no, don't yeah. fuck with that. Cause I mean, you're really putting your body in weird yeah. things and sure. asking And I was like, I can't, I can't keep up with, but I'll, I'll, I have friends who go outside a decent amount, and, and if we're going on like a, a climbing trip, I still go to the climbing gym. Um, yeah, and uh, if we're going on a climbing trip or something, I'll like get my hand strength back, and because uh, we're not doing anything crazy, we're just doing some. Yeah, I, I just do simple shit. Cruisers, but it's fun. Yeah. feeling manly. Yeah, it's fun. Um, yeah, you take it your shirt fun. off, get the back muscles. Oh down. yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's very fun. Okay, so back onto the stocks real fast because yeah. we're running out of time. Yeah. <sighs> 
Uh, How do we all get rich? Yeah, that, well, that's what I was yeah, going to ask you. <laughs> ben can fucking relax. I was going to ask you. To like, good what's the, what do we think is the next big thing? Because part of the thing that I that I wish that I had, especially a few years it's ago, money, more money. No, is smart people. <laughs> is smart people to to ask like, hey, you're a nerd. You know your shit. What's the next big thing? You call him a nerd. When I worked, it, that's no, crazy, bro. Yes. When I worked, he's gonna tell my lips after I'm gone. I'm so nervous. <laughs> not, I, <laughs> I couldn't help the whole time. It was distracting. Dude, Brandon's lips were so Brandon's fucking. Dry. I, you got me so fucking nervous, bro. It, uh, top to bottom. No, your lips are perfectly Thank you. moisturized. <laughs> your skin is good. You know, do we? All right. For good. the audio listener, the guy looks good. Thank you. I appreciate don't know if you that. can tell by by Ben's affinity for planes and ability to like notice small things, but he's a bit uh, <laughs> <laughs> differently brained. <laughs> He's, he's doing the face right now. I'm looking at the camera. I'm giving the boomer yeah, leds. Are you doing there. the gym? The leds yeah, there yeah. that they. Uh, uh, that's but funny. yeah, I wish that I had the um like when I worked at this place, this studio in like 2011, and I remember the tech guy saying, "You know, I just bought some shares of AMD. I think that they're probably going to do pretty well because I use their chips." Everybody and blah, blah, blah. that gives him a stock tip in his stories has the most virgin <laughs> voice. <laughs> Well, he's got such a low opinion of everybody. He's like, yeah, some guy. He's like, oh, these people are rich, I guess. They've all done pretty well, but you've given them like the, fucking asshole the biggest dillweed uh, voice. And you should have seen him delivering these lines, driest lips you've ever seen. <laughs> but I, I, it was like three bucks a share, and now it's like 180. Bro, you're... <laughs> <laughs> There's a pattern here on these stories, bro. You're saying things are low so and not are high. Boy, so wait, I get it. What do you think? <laughs> do you do you think that it's like biotech? Yeah. I feel like the next. Obviously, right. they come in sectors. They come in waves. Sure. And right now, we're in the AI thing. Yeah. And biotech has had multiple iterations, multiple instances. But I, I wonder. Yeah. What do you What do you think is the next big? There's no way crate? to know, right? Of course, well, I do think. My personal opinion, I'm a little, I'm just wary. I think, I think AI, if I get into it now, I'm late, which could be wrong. Because I have Nvidia, so it's fine. I don't want to be anymore. more. I think uh, the Ozempic stuff, the Eli Lilly's and the uh, Novo Nordisks and all those, I think they got a lot of room to run. I feel like, I feel like, uh, I feel like that shit's all like, you think it's over? You think it's uh, no, not I th over? No, no, I've, I feel like they're all like, a day away from fucking lawsuits saying, you know, everyone's stomachs got turned inside out by Ozempic and shit. TBD, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I, think, yeah, I think it's risk reward. Those things are so scary. But like, you know, their bull case makes a lot of sense to me, which is, you know, obesity, massive problem. Sure. It, this is an easy solution, which people will never do the hard solution. Seems like, and, and then it's recurring revenue. Like you're, you got everyone on a subscription plan for the rest of their life for, mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a lot of potential in that. I think it makes sense. I think, you know, Especially because it, it even it does work in terms of lowering heart risk and all that, like all the b b downsides of obesity. So there's a real chance that uh, you know, governments or insurance plans could even subsidize it so that you, you get it because it makes them more money in the long run because you don't have to spend. So yeah, like, I think that's why Eli Lilly was listening to uh, like the Biden administration on the um, on on capping the insulin prices because they were like, we want to exactly we want favorable regulation when we when we get like Ozempic and all these drugs. Uh, we want them to be covered by insurance. Exactly. Because yeah. if they can get it covered by insurance, then you're going to get a lot of people on that. And that's, so that is something I'm cautiously interested in. But I, I have generally, just be honest with you, I don't like to pick individual stocks because yeah. I have an audience that might buy them and then they might lose money and they get sure. pissed at me. Mm -hmm. So I don't like to do that. And then also I, uh, since 2021, since NFTs, like before that, I'm a perma tech bull idiot. I'm a perma. That's not idiotic. That's I, where the I mean, world that's, is going. That's what it you know, it worked and it was great. But since NFTs, I have been just, and also I, I got some money and I want to protect it. I've been so much more cautious. I, I, I see more risks. I, I feel like a lot of things are on shakier ground. Um, you know, in, in my mind, I, I, I you know, like I, one thing I, I gets me really furious is AMC. You know that CEO, Adam Aaron, you just see him on, on Twitter and he is just farming Desperate poor people yeah. to Dude, every ape last together dollar. What? Ape, to, ape together strong. <laughs> I mean, he calls himself the last silverback. And it's like, if you and look the over ape, the last year, it is down 92%. Yeah. And they have, in, in the entire way, he's been selling and pumping. So he's offloading all his personal shares and getting personally rich. And you see in his comments, there's just more and more desperate sad people. Like People like, I'm a father of three. I put all into AMC. Mm -hmm. And that shit infuriates me. Dude, I, that's the saddest Fucking and shit and I see all this. echoes of that in a lot of other stuff. Like AMC is obviously truly meme, but I see echoes of that all over the place. I see a lot of people that are desperate, that can't get a house, 
they don't know what to do and they're 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 taking more and more risk to try and get out, out of, of it into yeah. the American I mean dream. that was the dark side of all the crypto stuff yeah. where like just everyone this is going to be the next one like I missed that one but I won't miss exactly. this one exactly and like and that's sort of what you're talking about yeah. what you're saying like I I hear and but you guys are fine but there's people that aren't fine and I I hear that from them and I it makes me worried because I think people are just they're just they don't see a future unless they hit it big mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying and that, so and the odds against that are really really high uh so yeah, that's why that's my, that's my terrible answer to your how to get rich question. But well, I mean, but that's like, I, it's a very, <clears throat> you know, like American problem where, yeah, people don't see an opportunity yeah. outside of, of yeah. Striking some kind of get rich quick scheme. I mean, there's no, uh, the normal no path seems so blocked. Net. Yeah. And, you know, houses are, cause usually you could buy an affordable starter home. It would raise in value over your life. You sell it. Like even the big, the, the entry level stuff is all locked out. Right. Stocks are too expensive. They're at all time highs. You know, real estate's at all, all time highs. Uh, rent is expensive. Living is expensive. Cost of living is expensive. Uh, oh, dude. You know, I mean, it's like, I obviously knew how bad, like I've read all about like how awful rent has gotten and everything, yeah. but the, someone posted to Twitter, like the, the graph just animated of like from 1950 rent yeah, wages versus, versus rent. wages. And I it's, saw that it's, it's mind blowing. You, you, I mean, it's just, it's like radicalized yeah. and you're like, I, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. That and the, and, and healthcare yeah, and, uh, and, and education, all and that stuff is just like, watching the fucking gap. It's like, we have cheaper TVs. TVs go down to wages. We can get flat screens at way better prices. I mean, but like everything that you kind of want to live is, is up. And so I can see what people are scared and, and, and taking risk, but I don't want to, but I think it. Americans like often think of themselves more as consumers than workers. And so they are like, yeah, TVs are cheap. Everything's good. <laughs> and, but like they're w- way less likely to think about like organized labor or anything like that where they're like, Oh, I could like, Oh, totally fight to I have better wages and make sure pensions get reinstated yeah. and that kind of thing. They're like, I don't know. I kind of pissed me off because we, we had a sort of quote unquote hot labor summer last year. There was right. articles, but like, then you look at the numbers and like, the number of people in a union didn't really go up. No. Like it, it, it's flat. And, and so, it's like still all time lows. Yeah. It's fucking, yeah. It's yeah. low. So it's like, it, you know, there was some wins and there was some activity, but it didn't grow, which sucks. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I suppose that, um, just back to the, the, the question I asked you of like, Oh, what sector, if AI is really destined to really stay and not have a kind of, um, uh, a trough, for the next few years, obviously we know that a lot of money's pouring into fucking venture capital is doing what it does. And now if you come out and say, Hey, I've got an AI soda can, I got AI, oh, yeah. I got AI weed. The story from everyone who's in. richer and smarter than me is put in AI right now. Like yeah. that, you know, I, I'm cautious, but realistically though, they tell you is like, if there is a trough, it's not happening until 26 or what, just yeah. go. Just AI is going to pump. It's going to the moon. It's going to change everything. And on the GLP one thing yeah. with the, the, um, you, cause you, I've been trying to train myself to have second order thoughts on these. And I've, I think I've talked about it on here before, but with all these people losing weight, what's the next thing that Dude, happens? that's a great question. Cosmetic surgery. Yeah. And there's, it's, a, there's, a, and all yeah, there's yeah. a few companies that do that and like Botox alternatives oh, God. and shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's the next yeah, thing. That's that's, it's do. interesting. I mean, he's got, you know, like, and also like, uh, I didn't even think about that. If it's broad adopted, does that mean all the companies are, you know, cause it, it reduces your likelihood of gambling. It reduces your likelihood of, yeah, well, it's like a weird impulse. Yeah, c- impulse control. control thing. So there's a lot of companies that rely on everyone having bad impulse control. Uh, I mean, are, are any of them I, I their earnings affected? The, like internal memos at like Nabisco or wherever the fuck, where they were like, "We need to keep an eye on that." Yeah, like, yeah. Know, I think Walmart like, saw one too, where they're like, "Yeah, yeah, eat our shitty vanilla <laughs> <laughs> like, wafers, bro." <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Nilla I mean, the, the marginal so vanilla wafer sales will go. You know, they'll. Mm. It's not going to collapse, but it, <clears throat> they don't get the growth they want. I was craving Twinkies the other day, and I think I might. Uh, well, because <laughs> what? <laughs> They're so good. Uh, I I I I have a bit of impulse control. Lately. Oh, me too. Yeah, yeah. I'm a I'm a sour candy freak. Ooh, I'm I'm candy and cigarettes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you told me back on smoking diet soda. Yeah, diet uh, coke. But it's okay. I I've I've seen the other side. I've been chewing gum. 
He's been chewing gum. So okay, he's been he's chewing so gum. Close, yeah. <laughs> I think that uh, we, we got, what time is it? We're at uh, 105. We're at 105, but what's... Uh, oh, yeah, we yeah, actually got to wrap, oh, we wrap, wrap okay. in the studio. Well, I think we probably have made this our main episode, and maybe we can... Check out the bonus episode <laughs> where we introduce each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I think we can get clever with yeah, the... Yeah, all right, we we'll edit it right. Okay, editing. okay, we'll all right. Maybe right. like the first couple minutes of the... We'll make it work. Yeah. Well, and and the parts where we like say what this is... We'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Not my problem. <laughs> <laughs>